there are some beautiful snowflakes out right now and I'm loving them and we're continuing with reading stories about this little boy by Oliver Jeffers this one is called Lost and Found Lost and Found by Oliver Jeffers once there was a boy, and one day he found a penguin at his door. Here he comes out his door and sees the penguin. The boy didn't know where it had come from, but it began to follow him everywhere. The penguin looked sad, and the boy thought it must be lost. So, the boy decided to help the penguin find its way home. He checked in the lost and found office, but no one was missing a penguin. He asked some birds if they knew where the penguin came from, but they ignored him. Some birds are like this. We don't answer it. Or we don't understand their answer. The boy asked his duck, but the duck floated away. He didn't know. That night, the boy couldn't sleep for disappointment. He wanted to help the penguin, but he didn't know how. The next morning, he discovered that penguins came from the South Pole. But how could he get there? He ran down to the harbor and asked a big ship to take them to the South Pole. See how little the boy is and how big this ship is. But his voice was much too small to be heard over the ship's horn. So no one heard them on the big ship and they couldn't take them. So, together, he and the penguin would row to the South Pole. The boy took his rowboat out of the cupboard and they tested it for size and strength. They packed everything they would need. And together, they pushed the rowboat out to sea. They rowed south for many days and many nights with the boy telling stories all the way. The penguin listened to everything that the boy said. Those big waves. They floated through good weather and bad. When the waves were as big as mountains. Until they came to the South Pole. The boy was delighted, but the penguin said nothing. Suddenly it looked sad again, as the boy helped it out of the boat. I don't think the penguin wanted to get out of the boat. <laughs> the boy said goodbye and floated away. But as he looked back, the penguin looked sadder than ever. It felt strange to be on his own, and the more he thought, the more he realized he was making a big mistake. The penguin wasn't lost. He was just lonely. That's why he didn't want to get off the boat. He didn't want to be all alone. Quickly, he turned the boat around and headed back to the South Pole as fast as he could. See what's happening? While well, the boy is coming back this way, the penguin is going down the other way. At last, he reached the pole again. But where was the penguin? The boy searched and searched, but he was nowhere to be found. He was 
calling for him, she was looking for him, but she couldn't find to find him. Sadly, the boy set off for home. There was no point telling stories because there was no one to listen except the wind and the waves. But then the boy was so something in the water ahead of him. Okay. Closer and closer he got until he could see what do you think it is? The penguin. He was floating back on the umbrella and they were happy to see each other again. And so the boy and his friend went home together, talking of wonderful things all the way. It's always nice to travel with friends.